What isn't working for you? The rule of thumb is to reflect on the last three years of your life. If you had a goal to accomplish in your life, look at where you are now. Are you in the same place or further back? If so, change things up. And in this video, I'm going to go over three things to stop doing now. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. One, stop your current and present course. There will come a moment when everything is in shambles. Life slows, becomes stagnant, and even falls behind. But this is good news. Life is awarding you an ideal opportunity to start things over. Stop what you are doing and change things up. You're already three years into your attempt. If nothing is happening, then start over. At this point, you have more to gain than you do to lose. Be brave, be strong, be willing to award your life this chance. If anything, seek advice from people who are already successful doing what it is you wish you were doing. Specifically, ask them about the process to do what it is they do, and not so much the award for what they do. Two, stop blaming everything on others and things. Your shortcomings are always in your hands. Letting other people dictate the yes in your life is indeed your fault. Accept responsibility and start finding your yes. Or better yet, start creating opportunities by being proactive to create yes in your life. This is a unique opportunity to use your ill fortune as the excuse you've been waiting for. That chance has finally come for you to walk away from a crappy job, a toxic relationship, or maybe a commitment that you agreed to, which makes you completely miserable. If you're going to be forced to start over, you might as well work on doing it the right way. And blame no one but yourself. Take responsibility. And now make changes for your life and your happiness. Three, stop looking at everybody as competition. No, that comedian is not taking away your job. No, that actor is not stopping you from being cast. No, your band shouldn't play in front of a major act over another band. You can get a job performing as a comedian or actor, or even get your band to play any show out there. These options are not because other people don't deserve a chance. Because you have to remember, you're not an island. People need people. In the end, an actor got cast over you because they had something you didn't. And a comedian or even a band got booked at a certain club because they took the initiative and were proactive in building relationships with the promoter, the booker, and the people that own the process. So be proactive and make things happen by making things happen. Get involved. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but uh, be productive. And remember, look at the people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, here? Do you, punk? Do you? Do you? Do ya! Oh dear.